the marine coastal environment on the coast of British Columbia and Vancouver Island are all very rich ecosystems with many different species. It's also relatively pristine, and so we're working hard to keep it that way and protect it. I'm a lifelong resident of the BC coast, so I have a great passion for making sure that the environment that I live in is sustained for future generations. At the Living Ocean Society, we work to ensure that through sustainable management, we have healthy oceans, which in turn create sustainable and healthy communities. One of the things that we're known the most for at our organization is our mapping. We find that the, using maps as a communications tool have been extremely powerful and people really appreciate the work that we do on maps because it gives them a much different picture of the issues that we're talking about than it does with any other tool. We have two different offices, so Google Maps Engine gives us the ability to share the data that itself and allow our coworkers who might not have access to the GIS software and they can view it and then they, they can make their own maps that are more relevant to the work that they're doing. It's something that we're quite proud of, the fact that we can contribute to marine planning and marine conservation efforts using our maps. And Google Maps Engine is a great addition to the work that we do because it just helps us to make the information that we compile or the research that we do more accessible to everyone. Our campaigners and collaborators can now go into the Google Mapping technology and look at things like clam beds and kayaking routes and orca habitat and how close those things might be to a potential protected area. Most people never get a chance to go to these places so when you talk about them, you know, the name of an inlet, you, it's, not, it's not easy to visualize. So the maps are an extremely important part of our communications. Google Maps Engine is a great tool because you can upload your data and then it's, you can make it available to whoever you want to make it available to on the web. So you can set up different user groups. You, we can share things just within Living Ocean Society between our two offices, or we can share things with the broader public. I think this new technology will really deliver the power of mapping into the hands of the people that can really use it. Ultimately, at Living Ocean Society, we are trying to protect the corals and the sponges and the seagrasses and kelp forests and all of those really unique and special features on our coast. At the end of the day, what we're really looking for are those healthy oceans because our communities can't be healthy unless the oceans which they depend upon are healthy as well.